Hello and welcome to the next episode of Build the Millennium Falcon. A rare sight this, isn't it? Two uh, issues next to each other, side by side at the start. Well, there we go. Um, today we're going to be looking at issues 20 and 21, so let's open them up. And here are all the parts out of the uh, respective bags, all jumbled up together. Oops, didn't actually matter. Making to make a noise there on Jumble. Um, so what have we got? What have we got? We've got another part of the plastic jig, which I will put together with the other part later. Um, we have the cushions for the interiors here. Um, these are interesting. They're a different shape to what we've seen before. So I am looking forward to seeing how these go on. I'm guessing that these go on to these parts as the shapes seem to match. Um, and that bit's tiny. Look at that teeny tiny bit there. That's going to be fiddly, but that will be upcoming in just a moment along with these. What we're going to look at now is the framework and this part um, from these issues. Framework, a mixture of issues. Oh yeah, forgot about these. They go with the jig. Um, the framework are a mixture from 20 and 21. This is from 21 and the same with the screws and the metal bits, blah, blah, blah. So. Let's crack on. This is bottom frame 22, bottom frame 24, bottom frame 23. Ooh, yeah. So, ah, actually, yeah, this is where it goes. I just realised as I was just about to talk, just like the piece in earlier issues, if you remember, oops, these two pieces go on like so. And what we have here is return of the pig face. Return of the pig face. There we go. So that is how they will attach. Um, not sure how they will attach to here. Maybe like that. Because you can see the flat parts here. Like that, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to uh, have a look and put it together. And then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I have attached bottom frame 22 to bottom frame 19 here, and you can see how it's starting to extend out from the main um, semicircle. If you flip this around now, you have enough framing to put this part in, which came in, or do you know what, I can't remember what issue it came in now, but it was a, it was a while ago. It was a good couple of videos ago. But that now fits into here like that as you can see, uh, into this new frame. And if we get the underside from the last issue, here it is, in all its grimy glory, and push this in here, whoops, we can see it all now completed. Um, so there we go. So yeah, you really get a sense of depth now with that in. These will be covered, this will be covered. Um, landing gear, I believe, here. Not sure about this. Um, and then another one of these here, as I have said before. Um, if I flip this around, just to show you how it all connects. Now, there's no screws yet to connect it, but the two holes here on the underside will match the two holes there. And then there's two holes on this bottom plate, which will match up there as well. So when they attach like that, there's actually a slight curve to it. Um, it's not, you know, dead straight as you think it would. It's got a slight curve uh, like that. So when you flip it over, it won't be straight across. It'll have a nice slant to it, which I think will be very nice. And of course, you can see that from the design, but I didn't quite twig it till I've put it on there. Uh, so that is going to be upcoming when we get the screws for these parts. Okay, so here are the uh, other metal frameworks attached, uh, metal frame pieces, I should say. There you get with these issues, these issues attached. Wow, I can't talk. Um, not too secure at the moment because we're missing some connectors. I'm sure they will come at a later date. Um, but yeah, let's just flip this over and have a look at what this looks like now. Just put this piece back on there like so. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. As you can see, it's the raised bit like it, um, like the first pieces we ever got with this build. The raised bit for the top, this is the raised bit for the bottom. So I guess that'll make it the sunken bit. Doesn't really matter. Um, this bit, I'll just show it rather than talk about it. Um, it's all complete this time instead of 
it being split down the middle into two halves, not sure why that is. Um, there is talk that the top bit is going to be replaced because um, of some uh, moulding issues. Um, in the top bit, the um, the framing does... Actually, let me just show you rather than explain it. Here's the top bit here. So as you can see, kind of the moulding finishes there and then it's flat at this point. Whereas on this one, there's moulding at the top and down the side. It doesn't go right to the edge. So apparently this is more screen accurate. So hopefully they will replace this bit, even though I quite like this bit. Um, to make it more accurate, they might not, but those that's just what the rumours are saying at the moment. Uh, two pegs here for the two holes there. They will go in something like that. And very roughly then, this is what the underside looks like at the end of these issues. Okay, so these are the corridor linkway sides, I guess we'll call them. I don't know what to call them really. Um, the cushions here are the same as what we've seen before. They are the same colour, just a little thinner on a sprue, obviously. Um, yeah, not much else to say about these, really. Um, yeah, they look good. And then we'll move on to this bit. And uh, yeah, there's the holes for all the cushion parts. And the little one here. So I'm just going to paint these up and then put them on and be right back with you. completed um, not as fiddly as I thought considering this little bit here and these smaller bits on this one as well um, they fit in nice and snug I didn't even have to do much filing to get them aligned um, slight bit of weathering uh, not too much um, yeah not much else to say with these they will come into play a little later on okay now here we have the cushion parts the proper cushion parts from these two magazines um, same colour exactly the same on a sprue like before if I just uh, cut one out here it's a little fiddly okay come on I got it yeah okay I'm just going to do this imperfectedly there you go it's out right if I just put it on just to give you a quick idea of where you put it in the corridor so you've got tabs at the back you just tab them in to the holes in the corridor um, and it just fits there just like that. So um, I'm going to do another speed up, I think, you lucky people, and I'll be right back with you. completed now I do want to point out an error that I've made and I'm sure that you have noticed it as well is that I have put a cushion on the other side when it should have all gone on one side uh, don't know why I did that I think it's because it fitted really nicely into the slots um, I don't think it's a big issue because we will be getting cushions for the uh, blank side so I'll just replace one of the cushions from there and put it on the side that I should have done this time yeah just be careful don't do that because that's just really silly <laughs> And I can't believe I did it. But there we go. Mistakes happen. Um, now I'm just going to bring in the two pieces that we put together earlier. Well, I put together earlier. You watched me do it. Um, yeah. So basically they've got tabs at the bottom. And the tabs fit into the holes. 
uh, in the corridor, just like that. Uh, swing it around and do the same with the other side, tabs and into the halt. Um, yeah, so you've got to go in single file if you want to move corridors <laughs> in the Falcon it seems. Uh, but it's something nice texturally, it's nice to have a change. Um, yeah, it's not obviously put in properly because uh, it needs to be glued down. But yeah, I like the look of it. So um, yeah, very happy with this little addition. And just very quickly, I want to show you uh, what the interior main hold looks like connected to these corridor parts. It all fits nicely together. It is very nice again that we do have this level of interior. The first model of this scale to have it. You know, I've added my own little bits, but you know what I mean. Um, very, very gorgeous. Um, the reason I'm hesitating is that I'm not sure how much of this I'll get to see when I finally finish it. If my plan for a diorama goes ahead, I will be having this all closed up. But I'll know it's there and I can show it off to people should they ask. Um, not sure they will, but hey ho. Um, so yeah, that's all done. And now that that's all done, there's only one more thing left to do really. That is to put the pieces onto the blueprint. Uh, very quickly, this is what the jig looks like. Now we've got two parts together. This will come into play um, in the future issues, I hope. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put that there. And here is what we have so far. I've already put it on the blueprint because it's very fiddly to move. Uh, the bottom is filling out nicely with this bit here, this bit here going to the... Well, it would be the bottom gun to it, you know, technically like that. Apart from this is the top one. Um, and then the interior, all done will sit just on here. As I said earlier, this bit going into the cockpit. And the circle going around. Yes, I'm waffling. Here it is in all its glory. So we have come to the end of another episode of Build the Millennium Falcon. Um, keep an eye out for more videos upcoming, not just Falcon ones, um, but other craft. I mean, you saw the TIE Fighters go up earlier um, as part of the diorama cinematic universe which i'm now going to start calling it um yeah the x-wing is on its way to me it should be here soon i wish i'd paid for more postage but um not made of money so just gotta be patient on that one um not much else to say if you like what you'd see subscribe uh, feel free to comment sorry if i don't get to reply um i will try harder um yeah i'm gonna leave you all to it take care bye bye